Hi, boys and girls. Would you like to hear a story about a little girl named Dorothy and her dog Toto and their journey to Munchkinland? This is the Journey to Munchkinland by Victoria Slover. A wild tornado brought Dorothy and her dog Toto from their home in Kansas to the land of Oz. Her house landed in Munchkinland. Here, Glinda the Good Witch floated down on her pink bubble to greet Dorothy. That's me. Glinda asked Dorothy, are you a good witch or are you a bad witch? Now Dorothy was quite confused, for she wasn't a witch at all. She was a little girl. Now it was a fair question for Glinda to ask, for when Dorothy landed, her house landed on top of the Wicked Witch of the East. All that was left was her sparkling ruby slippers. When the Wicked Witch of the West found out what happened to her sister, she flew her broomstick right down to Munchkin Land, and there she tried to claim the ruby slippers. <laughs> but Glinda would not allow that. She quickly flipped her wand and magically transported the shoes from the Wicked Witch of the East to Dorothy's feet. Before the Wicked Witch of the West returned to her castle, she swore she would get those slippers from Dorothy any way she could. Dorothy, she thought those were beautiful ruby slippers, but she thought they were much too pretty for her. She tried to take them off, but they wouldn't come off. They were her shoes now. The mayor was happy to welcome Dorothy to Munchkin City. He greeted her with a parade. She was a hero, for she had rid the Menchkin land of the mean, wicked witch of the East. The Lollipop Guild marched forward in formation, welcoming Dorothy. When the other citizens of Munchkin land came out to offer their thanks for Dorothy freeing them from the wicked witch of the East. It was a day of celebration and the wicked witch was dead. Despite all the excitement, Dorothy missed her family in Kansas and wanted to go home. Glinda the Good Witch told her to follow the yellow brick road and pay a visit to the Wizard of Oz, for he might be able to get her home. After saying her goodbyes to her new friends, Dorothy and Toto started down the journey to the yellow brick road. The road would take her to the Emerald City and to the home of the wise and powerful Wizard of Oz. But that is another tale for another day.